Hello everybody, it's Stumpy, Stumpy Outdoors. Today, we're going to do a little alteration to our egg crate that we made to hold our fishing rods and hold some things in the back of our kayak while we're going down the river. I mounted everything where it was straight up and down. Uh, my rod holders, uh, the tips of them are up so high that if I get under any foliage or any overhanging limbs or anything on the river, I have a problem with getting my rods tangled up all the time. So I think I'm going to try to angle them back a little bit. And I'm going to go from six rod holders down to four rod holders. I think that'll make it a little easier. So we're going to get over here to the boat. We're going to show you what we have now. And then we're going to do a few alterations and see if we can make it where it'll fish and work just a little bit better for the river. Okay, right here's what we have now. Now it works really well. But most of the videos I watched on where they built these, most of these guys were fishing at the coast and doing some saltwater fishing. Well, you really don't have to worry about any, any limbs hanging over or anything like that when you're down at the ocean or more or less fishing the creeks and the things that they fish there for the drum. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to take these right here and we're going to try to angle them back and make them a little better for the river. That right there looks like about the right angle to me. I don't know if that's going to be quite right or not, but we're going to try it. We're going to try it right there. That lines it up with all the with the hash marks on the on the egg crate. It, at least it'll look good whether it works or not. And if we don't like it, we'll bring it home and we'll change it again. But we're going to do a little drilling, see if we can find something to make us a... Right here, we're going to need to put a washer behind it, because we don't have anything really to screw to. On this one up here, we can run it right through the side piece right here. We've got something good to go to. I hate to, I hate to remake my rod holders so that it's long enough to go in down here in the part where it was at before. So I think I've I got a couple big washers over there I think I can use. It'll pull up tight right here, and I think that'll make it work fine. When we get this done, we'll be back and show you what's going on. Alright, I believe that'll work pretty good. I got one rod in the rod holder that's built into the boat, and then one in my rod holder there on my crate. And I believe it's going to have my, it's got my angles almost identical. So my rods will all hang in about the same direction. That right there will get me. Gosh, about three feet less a distance that I need to get under trees. That'll make it a whole lot easier when I'm going down the river, especially when I get hung up. Because every now and then, I've been known to throw up into trees and have to go get my hooks out of the trees. And if your rods are sticking way up, that causes a problem because now when you go to get you one you throw it up there unhooked, now all your rods that are sticking up, they end up in the trees and it's a good way to break a rod. I think this right here is going to work really well. We're going to get the other side fixed, and we're going to come back and we'll show you what it looks like and we'll get the whole setup done. Alright, we got that finished. Didn't take us all that long. Just had to drill a few holes, move a few things around. I believe that's going to work pretty good. I did notice when my rods were in there that they were kind of close together, so if I had a, a crankbait or something with treble hooks on it, 
I may see a little bit of trouble with my hooks, with my lines getting tangled up. If that happens, I may take this front one right here, and I may raise that one up just a little bit to get my rod a little higher up in the air to keep the rod tips a little further apart if need be. We plan on heading up to the Dan River here in North Carolina uh, this Saturday. We'll try to do a little smallmouth fishing. So we'll try her out like it is. If we're not happy, we'll come home and we'll do some modifications because we don't have to have everything just perfectly square and straight and and in line with everything else. I want my boat set up to where it fishes good and it's functional. That's my main objective is to have a functional fishing boat. Don't care if it don't look quite as pretty as some of the others. I just want it to fish well. Boy, right, this is Stumpy with Stumpy Outdoors. We showed you how we did a few mods to our rod holder and our egg crate to keep our keep our extra uh, tackle boxes and things in here in the back of the boat. Well, we're going to head out to the Dan River this coming Saturday. Try to catch a few smallmouth. We're supposed to get a little rain in the next few days, so hopefully it'll get enough water in the river that uh, we can we can float it pretty well without having to do a lot of dragging. There's not a lot of water in the Dan River, and sometimes you can do a lot of dragging. But maybe with this rain. It'll make it easy on us. We're going to do us a little video. Hopefully we'll catch enough fish that we can eat some lunch, fry up some fish there on the river. And we hope everything goes good. We hope we catch fish. But that's why they call it fishing and not catching. You never know what's going to happen when you get out there on the water. Well, again, this is Stumpy with Stumpy Outdoors. Hope you enjoyed this little video. I'd appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel. Like it. If you like my videos, if you don't like my videos, give me a thumbs down. Let me know what I'm doing wrong. Thank you very much. You have a great day.